In the economy, there are three factors of production, the primary, secondary and tertiary sectors. In the primary sector, the firm collects the raw materials, so this will be a company chopping down trees. The secondary sector processes these raw materials into finished or semi-finished goods. The trees have now been processed into wooden furniture, including tables and chairs. The responsibility for the tertiary sector is to sell the finished products and or goods and services to the consumers. The tables and chairs are now available for sale at a furniture firm. Financial institutions provide banking services of collecting savings deposits from households and channeling the funds to the firms for investment. The firms are involved in the production of goods and services. We send exports to the overseas trade sector that they demand. The overseas trade sector imports goods and services that we need. Okay. The central government receive funds from taxation and spend these funds on providing the public with goods and services. The households represent the consumers in the economy. In this diagram, we will be using the red whiteboard marker for the real flows and the blue whiteboard marker for the money flows. Are you ready? Households demand goods and services. from the productive sector. The productive sector supplies goods and services to households. Households supply factors of production. In return, the firms supply the households with the factor incomes. These are the wages. The financial sector invests in the productive sector to ensure economic growth in the productive sector. When the households earn their wages, an automatic payment comes out of their income into the government. This is called income tax. Known as pay as you earn. P A Y E. Yep. In return, the government pays transfer payments, otherwise known as benefits. These are provided to the people who need them. For example, single parents. Government expenditure is when the government pays money for the firms to build something for the public. This could be a road or a hospital, ETC. Mm -hmm. In return, the productive sector pays the government their profit tax. This is known as corporate tax. The New Zealand productive sector exports the goods and services to the overseas trade sector that they demand. In return, the overseas trade sector sends export receipts, which is the payment for the exports. The overseas trade sector now sends the imports that we demand in New Zealand. In return, we pay the overseas trade sector import payments for the goods and services. Yep. Reciprocal flows are the dependence and money flows between sectors. This is when one sector, e.g. firms, are dependent on households to provide them with labour, and in return the households earn wages. An example of interdependence is imports and import payments. Without New Zealand importing, goods and services, import payments would not exist.